just speaking bold language, I'm speaking bold language. You might not understand me the way me the boss say. What's up, YouTube? This is Calvin Bond from Bond Trucking coming to y'all with another video. On this video right here, I am in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm taking this to St. Louis, Missouri. This load is 618 miles. It pays $905.45. This West, this, I'm at West Rock, and um, this West Rock right here is closing down. They just, they build another one in Alabama, the lady said. So a lot of our loads and a lot of our trailers that was here is going to Alabama. This load goes to Missouri though. So St. Louis, Missouri to a Walmart DC. So I'm gonna take this back west and I'm gonna run that for about two more weeks and then I'm gonna start going northeast. I'm mostly a northeast driver. So I'm a toll road driver. I normally drive back and forth the toll roads for the good money at over here anyway. So you know, you watch your lines. I'm glad that the weather is getting better, starting to try to get warmer. So that's a good thing. This load was supposed to be picked up tomorrow, but the lady let me pick it up today. So that's that was that was a plus because I got here about 10:30, so I didn't have to worry about a lot of the traffic coming out of Atlanta. It was supposed to be picked up tomorrow at three o'clock, so it was it was gonna be a very tight load. Today is the 19th, March the 19th, and it was supposed to be picked up on the 20th, and then dropped off on the 21st. So she let me pick it up. So that's a good thing. So yeah, that's definitely a good thing. So I don't have to rush. Plus, if Alana killed me tonight, coming out of here, it's 12 o'clock now. If it killed me coming out of here after they finish loading me up, then I know I still got tomorrow and the 21st to get this, this load here. So that'll help me out. But my plan is to run this load today, finish up tomorrow, and just be sitting there waiting to drop it off on the 21st. So then soon I drop the load off, I can pick another load off and run it. That'll give me more time to try to squeeze another load in for this week.
right, YouTube. This is the end of the road for this load. I'm going to do a little recap first. This load was 618 miles. It, was, it paid $905.45. I had to buy just a little fuel because I filled my take up on the first load. And um, I had to buy just a, I had to buy a little bit more fuel to finish the second load off. So I only spent $28.34 in fuel. My escrow was $58.40. Now don't forget on your escrow, your escrow is your loaded miles and your deadhead miles that JB Hunt says on the load. And you times that by 10 cents. And that's what your, that goes into your escrow account for your maintenance. Stuff like that with tail. Okay, and now this load paid $1.46 a mile. And my total was $818.71. Now, on this load right here, they told me that it went to a Walmart DC. I said it in the beginning of the video, but it actually went to the Bush factory in downtown St. Louis. So, honestly, this load was crazy from the beginning to the end. I'm just glad that I picked it up a day early. But, with this load right here, I, would, I picked it up in downtown Atlanta and dropped it off in downtown St. Louis. When I dropped this load off and got off the highway, if anybody had been here before, I turned left. Now, turning left, if you ever gotta go there, if you don't if you don't remember nothing else, remember St. Louis, downtown St. Louis, once you get off the highway turn right and go down the hill <laughs> I turned left so I ended up in the hood so I had to ride these small roads through the hood to get back to the where I started at it was crazy I made it through it but it was crazy I got one more load I just picked up. I dropped this load off earlier today. We've been going through um, technical problems over here since yesterday. They finally fixed it today, I think. We're finally getting our loads and, and messages and stuff again. Our people net and everything went out. I mean, we didn't, we couldn't do nothing. So, when our people net went out, I mean, I couldn't pick up my next load. I couldn't see my next load. I didn't know where I would, could, how, where the, my next load was at. I didn't know nothing. I just knew that it was in Illinois and it went to Indiana. Whatever it said that when I was on the board. But, I finally got a trailer because... When I first got to Bush, they didn't have a trailer. You know how it is at a beer factory. You got to weigh your truck, drop your load, weigh, go back, weigh your truck bobtail, go pick a trailer, weigh your truck and trailer. It, it's crazy. So I finally got a trailer and I went and picked my load up. I was like an hour late. On your pickups, on your pickups, it's not as important now you always want to be on time i always try to be early on everything i do i never want to be on time because to me on time is late but the most important appointment i'm not telling y'all to be late on y'all pickups but your most important appointment is your drops if it's an appointment time you don't want to miss that appointment time if you can help it I was an hour late on this one. They made me sit for a little while, you know. Had to get punished a little bit, you know. You know how the shippers do. 
but um they got me loaded so i'm on this load right here i paid um i'm gonna tell you this load i ain't done with it yet i'll be done in the morning but this load right here is 337 miles it pays 605 dollars and 38 cents so short haul the fuel the fuel i mean the cents per mile is a dollar and 79 cents i already paid put the fuel in for this load it's a dollar and 89 cent I mean, I'm sorry, it's $189.43. My escrow for this load is $30.40. So I make $385.55. And I'm going to try to get one more load in this week. And I should be good for this week. Well, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend about my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button or hit my face on my end screen. Y'all be careful and be safe out there. I'm out.